Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to export camera plus object tracking data from Synthize to Blender. So let's start the class here. So now we are in fact Synthize. So this is our sort here. So in our previous video, simply just I have tracked this sort. First I have tracked this camera, then I have tracked this object for this sort here. So both things just I have tracked inside Synthize. Now simply just you can play and just check this sort here. So before starting this video, please watch my previous video link I have given in description camera plus object tracking inside Synthize. So suppose if you are facing any problem regarding camera and object tracking inside Synthize. So before starting this video, please watch my previous video link I have given in description. So now just I am going to export this camera plus object track for blender so simply nothing we have to do so for exporting this tracking data for blender just we have to click on this file then export and just we have to select this blender python options here or blender python script file here simply just we have to select and just select your path so inside this folder this is your script name or blender file name simply just we have to click on save now here a uh, blender version just I have selected this 4 plus 1 because just I am using blender 4.3 here then this is your starting frame here simply we have to click on ok so now just I have exported this tracking data for blender now come inside blender so now we are inside blender and I am using this blender 4.3 here just you can see this one here so first we have to delete all these default items here simply press A now press delete so now here just I have deleted all these things here then after this we have to import our blender script file which just i have exported from synthize then simply we have to click on this scripting then we have to click on open and just select your file which just we have exported from synthize so just select your folder so this is our file which just i have exported from synthize simply just we have to select and just we have to click on open text so now here the, you can see all these text files here then we have to click on this run script here now inside the 3d view if you will see just i am getting all this tracking data now after this we have to click on this layout view here so now just you can see so this is our actually object tracking points and these are actually camera points and so these are our actually two dummy object which just i have created inside synthize now if you will click on this camera view so simply you will see all these things here so this is our background plate here or you can say image plane here so simply this is our starting frame here and this is our end frame so if you want to check all these informations here then you can click here and simply just you can see this is your frame size then a pixel spec ratio and frame rate and this is your starting frame and this is your end frames here now after this what we have to do simply just we have to play and just we have to check so now just you can see so all these things are just matching here so like this simply just you can import your camera plus object tracking data inside blender now after this just i am going to create some test geometry inside blender first just i am going to create a test geometry for this camera movement here then we will create for this object so just create a test geometry simple so now just we have to click on add button then go to this mesh and I take this monkey and so this is our actual object here now just you can press G then press Y then you can move actually uh, inside this Y axis here now go to this side view here so it is just we can see all these things here now just we have to place this dummy uh, object on top of this grid here or on top of this ground here so now first press tab now press G Z then hold control and just move it up now after this again we have to press tab button here now simply we can press s button and just we can scale this one here so if you can see this one here now after this just you can rotate this one according to requirement so simply you go you can take this rotate tool or just you can press r then press z and just you can rotate this one here then simply you can press r then you can press y or x and just simply just you can rotate it here okay 
even if you want you can just take this rotate tool and simply just you can rotate this one here so now again simply just we have to select this camera view now so here just i placed over this geometry i think this is a little bit too big here so again just we have a little bit make this small here Now that you can see, see this is our test geometry here. Simply little bit, just I am going to move maybe with this one here. Now just we can play and just we can check first of all this camera movement quality here. Now just you can see. So now here, if you will see this test geometry, simply just place to this scene here, and this is just moving according to over this camera movement here. Even if you want, you can just create another copy. And just you can place it here now after this just i am going to see how we can create a geometry for this object here so for this just i am going to create a cylinder simply just you can take this cylinder then go to this side view and just i am going to create a cylinder here and just we have to place according to this reference here so first what we have to do just we have we can create a cylinder so this is a cylinder here now again press tab button now press G, Z and hold control and just move it here. Now again press tab button. Now take a scale tool and just you can manage all these things here. Now adjust this scale size. So first what we have to do. So simply just I have selected this tracking marker. Now we have to right click then click on snap and snap cursor to selection. Then after this just you can select your geometry. Then right click uh, again snap then selection to cursor. So now simply just we can rotate this one here and just we can match. Now just easily just we can rotate these things here and just we can match with our this reference geometry here. So we have to match with all angles here remember this one here. So now here just I match this geometry at frame 0 here. So now here if you will play, so this will not match it here as you can see. So this is not matching here. So what we have to do, simply again just we have to select first this geometry. Then we have to select a track point which is inside our object group. And simply just we have to use parent child relationship here. So here just I have selected this geometry. then just you can use this point so later we, we will manage all these things here now hold a shift and just select this point whichever inside this object group remember this one here now simply press ctrl p or right click then go to this parent and object so now here just i have connected this geometry with our this actually object group here now just i am going to just match this one here So again just we have to select this geometry then right click and simply just we have to snap this selection to cursor here. So just here just I place this one here. Now just you can rotate this one here. Now simply just you can delete your dummy geometry whichever this red one here. So what you can do just select this geometry dummy geometry. So inside this object folder you will get your dummy geometry or cylinder here so this is your object folder just open this one so just you can see this is your dummy cylinder which just i have created inside synthize select and delete this one here now just simply we have to play and just we have to check this one here now just we can play and just check So now you can see, so this object is just following according, according to this object motion here and this is just matching here. So both things are placed into the scene here and remaining thing after this just you can replace this object with any geometry according to your requirements here. So guys till here I have completed about this class. So if you like this video, please watch, share, comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel. So thanks for watching.